So there's a new HTML5 API called the Permission API, and this is used to determine which permissions a user is allowing the browser to have. Now, it's something that currently is only supported in Chrome and Firefox, but uh, other browsers have it uh, under consideration, under development. The way this works is, um, as an example, geolocation. If you want the browser to have permissions to make a request to find the person's location, so I have this browser open, the browser is going to ask me if I will allow it to know my current position. So that's the geolocation permission. There's permissions for other things as well. There's permissions for uh, multimedia, for media files, for um, notifications, local notifications, things like that. Uh, and the way this system works is navigator.permissions. So the navigator object, the built-in object in the window, then there's a permissions object. So if you want to know if the browser supports it, we can wrap this inside of an if statement. So we could say if navigator.permissions, and if that exists, the browser supports this. So we're looking to see if this exists inside of the navigator object. If it does, then we can put code, so I can put all of this here inside, highlight all of that, tab it in, there we go. So one if statement, if it supports it, this is what I'm going to do. Navigator permissions has one method called query. This method accepts one object as its parameter. There's going to be at least a name property and then what the permission is. So maybe we could be talking about push or notification, uh, geolocation. Like I was saying, there's a few things that are out there right now, but more will be coming. This will return a promise. So instead of the um, current system where you've got things like, <clears throat> pardon me, navigator geolocation get current position, this makes a request synchronously. There's callback functions for it worked, it failed. So these are the callback functions. This works in all browsers right now. The new thing that's coming is support for the old stuff as well as the new one. So I wanted to do this, but in the new method based on promises, I can say navigator permissions query, name geolocation, this is an object that I'm passing in with the name property. When the response comes back, so when the promise is resolved, this function gets run. Function gives me permission status. This is going to be an object that has a state property that tells me what the result was. So let's, let's test this out. So if I reload my page, um, I'm asking for permission for notifications. That's the example that's down here. So notification request permission. The result could be denied, it could be default, or blank. If it's denied, it means I hit block. If I hit the X here, that's the default. So I'm dismissing this. So let's try that. Geolocation permission state is prompt. So that was this one right here. So permission query. It tried to do this and said that prompt. That means every time I do this command, the get current position, it will prompt me. That's the current state. That's the default state. Now if I reload this page again and I say block, permission was not granted. Allow a retry. And that's just the message that we have here. And that means that the result that came back from this notification request permission, it gave me this string denied. And that's what we've got right now. So, so we can just go up to the information uh, icon up here and we can see notifications are currently set to block. Let's put it back to the default, which was ask, and then we will reload the page. There we are. And if we say allow, 
permission was granted. And that's what we have down here, these three things, denied, default, or allowed. So allow, block, or just close the notification window. This is the close the notification window. This is the block. This is the allow. And we get the same sort of thing with permissions. Now, I don't have these functions right now, so let's go with the default options, and I'll just create these two functions. Yes or no console.log message that comes up. Okay, there we are. So we'll reload this. It wants to know my location. That's what I'm getting here with get current position. So geolocation permission state is prompt. That's what it's saying up here. So it tried this, it tried the query to find this out. This, the status currently is set to prompt. Great, and I'm going to say allow. There we go. Geolocation permission state has changed to granted, and then yes, it got my permission. So that was the for the win function right here saying yes that it got it back. And the on change, I changed the status from prompt to granted. That was the other one. So notifications, there's deny default or blank. For geolocation, the strings are different. And if I look in here now, there's three permissions, location, notifications, and clipboard. Those three things have all been set to allow on this page. Now, uh, there are some restrictions, location, notifications, clipboard. These things are supposed to be done over HTTPS, but if you're on local host 127.0.0.1, if you're doing it over local host, it's considered to be testing, so they will still work with that, even if you're not running it over HTTPS. All right, and that is the new HTML5 Permission API. As I said at the very beginning, it's still only supported in Chrome and Firefox, but support will be coming for other browsers. So the um, get current position and notification request permission, these both work as expected. These are the ways that you currently ask for permissions for these things. Those will work. but the new thing is this query to find out the state for the response and the on change method to track whether or not a permission has been changed. And this is just an example showing if there's multiple properties that need to be passed into the object to the query method. If there's something beyond just the name, it'll look like this. All right, so I hope that helps you out. Um, play around with it. I'll leave the code sample as a code gist for you down below and uh, get used to it because this is the way it's going to be working in the near future. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.